Saturday, November 21st is National Adoption Day. Myth. Adopting a child from foster care is expensive. Myth. There's too much red tape and bureaucracy in adopting a child from foster care. Myth. Families don't receive support after the adoption is finalized. Myth. If you're gay or lesbian, you cannot adopt. National Adoption Day is all about raising awareness, awareness for the 100,000 plus children in foster care in need of a permanent family, awareness for children around the world craving a stable home. Four years is the average amount of time a child waits to be adopted, and more than 23,000 children age out of the foster system each year. Since the creation of National Adoption Day, nearly 54,500 more children than average have been adopted because of this awareness event. That's a big difference. Elizabeth Lee is a senior at Spring Lake High School, and here's what she has to say on how adoption has affected her life. Adoption has affected my life in ways I cannot even fully comprehend. My eyes and heart have been open to see the world in a different light, but I've also learned to appreciate life and what I've grown up with here. I've grown to respect the little things and to embrace life for what it is. Adoption isn't for everyone, but I fully believe it's a topic in which people need to be educated before making judgments or assumptions. Because my family was large to begin with, we were only available to those kids with special needs the kids who weren't normal and had been overlooked by other people. Sue Min has a form of dwarfism and the newest, Lee, Eden, is HIV positive. Both of these precious children had been ignored and looked over because of health reasons, reasons they can't control. My point is, please don't judge anyone by their cover, even a child. And remember, family is family, no matter our blood or our backgrounds. Family is possibly one of the brightest blessings in life, and I'm so grateful to be a part of my family, my crazy and diversified family. All of these myths, facts, and statistics have come from the awesome site nationaladoptionday.org. I encourage everyone just to visit the site, even for five minutes. There are people in our own high school who, have, who are adopted, who have adopted, and who have been affected deeply by the incredible act of adoption. Check out Fancy Bailey's interview now, all about her journey with adoption. It's on our Facebook page and on our SoundCloud page, as well as our website. Thank you for listening to this midweek episode. Like and follow our Facebook and Twitter pages for updates on episodes and more.